Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my candle empties and wax melt empties for July. So we'll start with the candles. And this one I'm going to finish up today and I'm going to be so sad that it's finished. It's by Yankee Candle and it is absolutely my favorite fresh air, watery, ocean type scent ever. And I've tried a lot of ocean type scents um, and this one is just absolutely my favorite. And that's uh, Yankee Candles uh, Bay Breeze. So yeah, this was poured in 2015. Uh, of course, I'm not going to enjoy it if it's collecting dust, uh, but I'm really sad to see this one go. It is just the best clean, crisp, uh, refreshing, watery scent that I've ever smelled. Um, definitely my favorite. Uh, it is... It doesn't have that kind of salty ocean air undertone to it. Very, very little. It's just so crisp and clean and refreshing. Uh, yeah, I'm just so sad to see it go. Um, but yeah, this one is very good. It's uh, probably about an 8 out of 10 throw. Pretty clean burn. No issues. Um, yeah, I'm going to really miss that candle. And then uh, this is Force of Nature by Bath & Body Works, which is uh, Champagne Toast. And Champagne Toast is just one of those um, scents that I can just burn year round. Uh, but the reason I got this one, I actually got three of these, is because of the, the label. So it has this gold label and then it has the dragonflies. And when this lit is lit up, it is absolutely beautiful. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just a very gorgeous candle. Um, very good throw. I had no issues with the burn. Um, yeah, just a beautiful candle. And then this is uh, by Bath & Body Works Sweet Mint Julep, uh, which is um, rosemary mint, splash of bourbon, sweet vanilla, simple syrup. I didn't get any bourbon with it. Um, yeah, this is just a very uh, kind of, not peppermint or spearmint, it's just that kind of fresh picked mint from the meadow. Uh, now this one is a, a little bit light in the kitchen, which needs a strong throw. So this did better in like a small to medium sized room. Um, yeah, it's just a, a, like you added sugar to some mint leaves and that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, very, very pretty scent. Um, no issues with the burn. I do have a couple of colonial candles and these are their eight ounce ones. So years ago I picked up a lot of these in um, Home Sense and Marshalls. Oh, quit sitting on my foot. Um, and then a few more have popped up once in a while for the past couple years, but they're eight ounce. They always had such good throw and uh, they burn very well, and they're kind of these oval-shaped ones. So this is um, Colonial Candles Harbor Mist. Again, it's just that fresh, watery um, scent. Uh, did have a little bit of a little veering, a little bit towards the colony side, a little bit salty, um, but uh, a very, very nice scent and this one is grapefruit hibiscus and i think that i got two of these um it's a, a very very nice scent it's kind of a fruity floral a little bit of sharpness to it and uh yeah both of these burned quite well a little bit sooty um i didn't trim the wicks enough uh, but yeah these still kind of pop up in the discount stores and i had great luck with the eight ounce ones and I do have a few still kicking around there. And this is Sour Melon Drop by Bath & Body Works. And I really like the label. Uh, so this is um, Juicy Candied Watermelon, Sour Green Apple, and Bursting Honeydew Melon. Oh, something fell out. Um, I didn't get anything really sour. I didn't get a sour apple kind of scent with this one. I just, I just got the... The melon scent. I got a little bit of the watermelon and then like a kind of like a cantaloupe kind of scent to it. I didn't get anything sour. It was very soft when it was burning but it had a very good throw and uh, yeah it's just a soft 
kind of fruity scent to it. I really did enjoy that one. And uh, no issues with the burn on that one. And then this is uh, Beach Weather by Bath and Body Works. This was a really pretty candle. Uh, sandal, Sun-dried sandalwood, island coconut, and breezy palm trees. So I did get a very soft uh, coconut scent. It was kind of softened up with that sandalwood. Um, oh, just such a pretty beachy type candle. Little little hint of like a perfumey in there with the, the coconut and the sandalwood. Just really, really nice, uh, pretty beachy scent. And I think, I wish I had picked up another one because that one is, is just very, very nice one. All right, now, um, for all the wax melts and that, I did go through a Tea Lights Yankee Candle Sun Drenched Apricot. This is just a beautiful apricot scent. Um, little hint of rose in there. Uh, these Tea Lights have never been really that strong for me. Um, I get more of a little bit of a kick to it with the candle and the, and the wax melts. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful scent. Alrighty, and this is Sensational's Magic Spell. And that's uh, kind of a dupe of Victoria's Secrets. Uh, is it Love Spell? I think it is. Um, so I melted this in my um, uh, plug-in warmer from uh, Sensationals. And I just needed one cube and it filled up the bathroom and kind of drifted into the bedroom. Um, such a pretty, uh, perfumey, fruity scent. Oh, it's, it's very, very nice. And it lasted quite a while. Like I had it uh, going day and night for a couple days before I had to switch out. And this is Sensational Sunburst Bamboo. And, oh, I don't have the set notes on here, but I think there's cucumber maybe in this one also. But I didn't really pick up cucumber. Um, maybe the cucumber added kind of a light, um, light, fresh kind of scent to the, the greener scent. It's just a really pretty, light, watery green scent to me. Um, but this one, for some reason, I thought this was going to be a real powerhouse. And um, at times I kind of struggled to smell this one. So uh, I do have another one. I'm going to let that kind of maybe cure for a little bit to see. Um, but it was on the, on the lighter side for me. But it was a beautiful scent. And this is... Oh! Oh, I did go through both of them. Okay. Alrighty. I, I did go through both of my sunburst bamboos. I guess I had one in my bedroom and then one in Julian's bathroom. But yeah, they were on the lighter side, so I guess I won't be curing the second one because I went through it. <laughs> uh, shows you how much attention I'm paying to things, right? Um, anyway, and this is Bergamot Bay. Uh, so I had this in my office downstairs, and it you could smell it throughout the office. It didn't wander out or anything like that. But it's a woodsy, greenery type scent. Yeah, it's it's very, it's it's not clony. It's kind of masculine, I guess, if you want to call it masculine. But it's just kind of a that woodsy, kind of watery, greenery scent. Um, and there's pink sugarberry mint. So I really like this one. Um, I did get uh, during the bring back my bar. I picked up a, a couple of these. Um, it's a fruity scent, but there's like a je ne sais quoi. There's just something added in there that I really like. I didn't get mint, but it's just such a yummy, sugary, slightly perfumey uh, uh, fruit scent. Oh, I just, I really, really love this one. It's very strong and very long lasting. This one I had in the bathroom downstairs. This is Fusion, which is uh, Sensationals, uh, Sea Glass. So they had quite a few of these Fusion ones out in our Walmart here in Canada a couple years back, I guess now. Um, yeah, but this one is very, it's, it's like dewy greens, like watery dewy greens. Um, it's, 
maybe veering a little bit towards Cloney, just a little bit. Um, it's kind of that salty ocean air. It's like it's like you got the the all the green vegetation near the ocean. So you get all the dewy greens, the watery greens mixing with the ocean air. Oh, and this one's strong and fairly long lasting, so it's really good for the bathroom. Uh, oh, I got some of my skincare stuff mixed in here. Uh, Rainy Day by Sensationals. And yeah, we've had a lot of thunderstorms recently, finally, um, getting tons this week, I guess. Um, I just need one cube. That's all I need. And it fills up like the downstairs and kind of wanders upstairs. It's a very heavy floral, very heavy watery uh, floral, and it kind of overtakes things. So usually if I have this melting, uh, I usually don't uh, melt anything nearby because this just overtakes it. Yeah, it's very, very heavy. You don't... You, just need one cube and it does the trick so it took like the entire month to get through that one uh, this is Canada Day from Sensationals from their uh, Canadian themed line and this one is like a kind of a fruity jam um, maybe a fruit punch kind of scent uh, yeah it was a uh, it was stronger than a medium. It uh, didn't last too long, but it was kind of a little stronger than the medium throw with that one. Uh, this is uh, by Fusion also, Eucalyptus Leaf and Cedar. So this one is very, um, very bright, very crisp and clean. I didn't really get the cedar. Um, I guess there might be like a woodsy scent in there just to tame down the herbalness of the eucalyptus. Oh, but this, yeah, it was just very, very fresh, very clean scent. Uh, this is Ebony Woods by Sensationals. Oh, I've had this for a while. So I had this in the spare room. Um, I had one cube and it, it was enough to fill up the the spare bedroom and it was uh, it was a woodsy clone scent so it wasn't really sharp and kind of cloying kind of clone scent because it was kind of tamed down with the wood tone um, but it was very soft and um, I did like that one uh, this is whoopsie uh, this is by Sensationals. This is from their Day of the Dead line, and it's Marigold Blossoms. I'm not going to pronounce the other name because I don't know how. Um, this one is so nice. I really enjoyed this one. It's just such a beautiful floral. I actually went and got a backup of this one. Oh, I just, I, it's just such a pretty scent. I just really enjoyed that one. And this is Fresh Cut Daisies uh, by uh, Scentsy. And uh, now I think I finished Beach Daisy last month and I found it quite light. But this one's very strong, very long lasting. It took me most of the month to get through. Oh, I really, really enjoy this one. It's a very beachy, floral, a um, little bit of sharpness to it, uh, but I enjoyed that one. And this is Blackberry Lemonade by Sensationals. Now, I love my blackberry scents. I love lemon scents, but this one did not work for me. I just, oh, there was a, something in there. Oh, just the combination of the two just didn't work with me. Though I do love blackberry scents. That one just, it just, there's a note in there I just couldn't handle. Uh, this is Sun and Sand by Yankee Candle and their new Wax Melt Singles. And now normally I have great luck with the throw on the Sun and Sand, but this one was pretty light. I had to put in a small room. Um, but yeah, it's a classic Yankee scent. So beachy. Oh, it's just, I love this scent, but it was just pretty light. Um... This is Honey Lavender Ice Cream by Sensationals. I don't think you can get this anymore. Oh boy, this took me all month to get through. I only needed one cube. Even half a cube probably would have been enough. This is a powerhouse. Um, 
It's the honey was very, very heavy. The lavender was very herbal. It was it was overpowering. Even for me, I can take strong scents, and this was overpowering at times. So I usually stuck with a very large area with this one, and it lasts forever. Like you um, blow out the tea light or turn off the warmer, and the next morning you come down, and you can still smell this. This thing seeps into the pores of your house. It's very, very strong. Uh, this is Tangerine Twist by Sensationals, a really nice uh, citrus scent, a um, little stronger than a medium throw. Um, very crisp and clean type of uh, citrus scent. And Oh, this one I got backups of. I just absolutely love this one. It's by Fusion. It's Lemon Blueberry. This is such a good combination. I just, oh, it's strong. It's long lasting. I just, oh, I just love this one. It is so good. There's no bakery. It's just lemon and blueberries mixed together. Really good combination. And then uh, Echo by uh, Sen Sensi. Oh, I can't remember now. It's a little bit leathery, uh, kind of, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's veering too much towards cloney, but it was just kind of a soft, leathery, woodsy kind of scent. Um, I just can't remember how strong it was now. I think this was earlier in the month, but anyway, I did enjoy it. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's it. That's my uh, wax melt empties. And uh, yeah, I got through quite a few uh, wax melts. Um, I'm trying to get through. I got so many. I'm trying to get through those. Um, probably could have got through more, but I'm just trying so many different new ones and that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Um, just waiting for the thunderstorm to roll through. There's a big thunderstorm warning out right now. Uh, so hopefully it won't turn into a tornado. Um, but anyway, I hope everyone's doing well. And... Uh, Thanks for watching. Take care. Give your loved ones a hug and kiss. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.